do you show YouTube videos to your students or clips of them? And as you're showing them on the right hand side, they'll see the other videos, the quote unquote related videos. Here's one. Here's a car rolls horizontally off a ledge for uh, an activity. On the right hand side says funny, scary snowman prank. That's great. And then the kids all of a sudden get distracted. Or perhaps when you're showing it, before you can click it on full screen, the comments come in. And the comments are not appropriate for what you want. You can't control that. So don't you wish you had a cleaner interface to YouTube, something that would get rid of the things you don't want to see? I can click on full screen, that's great, but as I'm searching through stuff, and it's not always convenient to do that, there is a way to do this. So in Chrome, you can add something called an extension. An extension adds features to your Chrome browser so that you can have a more pleasant viewing experience. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a feature. So I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store. I'm searching this in Google. And I'm going to look for a feature called YouTube Options. YouTube Options, and I've included that in my search. So Chrome Web Store YouTube Options, it popped up. I'm going to click on the first link. And here it comes up. And now, not only does it show me what it does, but it also says it's free, my favorite price. So I'm going to click on it and install it because actually I already know what I'm doing here. And it says it wants to access all my data on websites and browsing activity. And sure, I'll add that. That's not a problem. And wait a few moments. Ta da! It's done. It's all installed. Now it's got a little user agreement, so that's fine. You know, I've read this before. So I'll go through that. And now I have control over the YouTube site. Change the video default quality, default viewing size, block video ads. Oh, I'm going to keep that one, that's why it's green. Block video annotations, that's great. Disable autoplay. Hmm, yeah, so it doesn't come on automatically when I play. There's all kinds of features here. There's one I'm going to turn off that they have it on. And that's towards the bottom. It says modify YouTube videos on non YouTube sites. I don't want to do that because I figure the site's built for that reason and there's tech usually around it that's important. So I'm going to leave that and I have more options I can choose if I want to. But I'm not going to do all that. Now let's go back and look at my video. I'll go back to that tab where I had the video. And this is what I had before. I'm going to reload it so it'll activate that extension. Reload it. Here we go. Ta da! There it is, all set to go. Top right hand corner is a little icon in the Omni box that says uh, YTO, that's YouTube Options. If I click on that, it gets me back to the Options page. At the bottom it says Options again, and then I can turn these things on and off. Or maybe if I want to remove it, I can do something else. In Chrome, I go to Window, go down to where it says Extensions. And these are all the little extensions that I've added to my Chrome browser. And here's the one at the bottom that says YouTube Options. I can enable it, click it to disable it. Or maybe I can just put it in the trash can and get rid of it all together. So this gives you a cleaner YouTube viewing experience using an, ex an extension added to Chrome, and it's called YouTube Options.